What's going on guys? My name's Theo Atrix and today I'm going to be talking about run energy in old school RuneScape and pretty much how it works, how it's restored and how long it lasts. Now one quick fact before I get started, running in old school RuneScape is actually twice as fast as walking. Anyway, there's two things that I want to talk about on this topic. The first is how run energy regenerates and secondly is how fast it drains. I'm going to start off talking about how fast it drains since it's a little bit more simple. So the run energy drain rate is actually entirely dependent on your current weight, but having a weight of negative 20 kilograms or a negative number is actually the same as having zero kilograms. So basically what that means is that any negative weight is really just pointless. A common myth that people believe is that having a negative weight helps with agility or obstacles, things like that. But in fact, it doesn't at all and it only depends on your agility level. So run energy drains at different rates between zero kilograms and 64 kilograms. So as I said before, negative weight is the same as zero. And on the other hand, if you weigh above 64, let's say 100 kilos, then it would be the same as weighing 64 kilos. The mathematics behind the run drain rate is your weight divided by 100 and then you add 0.64 to that number and then that will give you the amount of run energy that you lose for every two squares that you run. So if I weighed 64 kilos or more, my weight is then 64 divided by 100, add 0.64 which equals 1.28, meaning I lose 1.28% of run for every two squares that I go. Now, on the other hand, if I weigh zero kilos or less, the calculation would be zero divided by 100, which is zero, plus 0 0.64, making it 0.64 per two squares. And that's actually half the rate compared to the heaviest one. The only other thing in the game which changes the rate that your run energy is used is stamina potions. And basically what they do is they slow down the run depletion rate by 70%. So say if I was zero kilograms and was losing 0.64% every two squares that I run, I would now only lose 0.192 run per two squares. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the items which replenish your run energy straight away. There's actually a lot of them in the game, but for the sake of this video, I'm only going to speak about the practical ones. The first ones are the energy potions. So the regular energy potion restores 10% of run energy per dose, and these are actually available to free to play players. Next is the super energy potions, and these ones restore 20% per dose, so double the normal ones, and that's actually the same with stamina potions. Next is summer pies, and they restore 10% of your energy per bite, so 20% for the whole pie. And they also boost your agility by five and having a higher agility level actually does help with run. I'm going to talk about that later on. The Explorer's Ring from the Lumbridge Achievement Diary actually holds charges which are restored on a daily basis and they all give different restores of run energy. Purple Sweets give 10% run energy per sweet. And then the last one that I'm going to mention is the Mint Cake, which replenishes 50% of your run energy but there's like none of those in the game since you have to do like the gnome cooking mini game, I think it is. But the price in the grand exchange is like 400 coins. I'm not sure how or why, but I'm pretty sure the price would be a lot higher. Now I'm going to talk about how run energy replenishes. So first off, the rate at which run energy replenishes is entirely dependent on the player's agility level and only replenishes when the player is not moving or is walking. There's actually a formula for working out how many seconds it takes per percent of run energy that you get back, depending on your agility level. So firstly, you get your agility level, get the number, divide that by six, and then add eight to the number you just got. And then next, you divide that new number by 60, and that should give you a decimal value usually between zero and one. Now, what you need to do is do one divided by that number and then that will give you the amount of time it takes to replenish 1% of run energy. 
So that sounds pretty tricky, and that's why I said the other one was a bit easier to get your head around. So I'm gonna do an example to hopefully make it, make it a bit more simple. So if I have 78 agility, I do 78 divided by six, which gives me 13, and then I add eight to that, so that's 21. I divide that by 60, that gives me 0 0.35, and now I do one divided by 0 0.35, and that gives me 2.86 seconds for each percent of run energy. So the other thing that changes how your run energy restores itself is the full graceful outfit. And the key word there is full. Wearing one or two pieces of the graceful clothing without the full set on will not give you this effect. The effect of the full set is that your run energy restores 30% faster than the normal rate for your agility level. So if you wanna work that out, you just need to get your normal rate from the calculation before and then multiply it by 0.7. Now, despite negative weight being pretty useless in terms of run energy, I'm still gonna quickly brush over all of the weight reducing armor and the clothes in the game. Firstly, there is the full graceful outfit, which gives a total of negative 25 kilograms and costs a total of 260 marks of grace, which you get from doing rooftop agility. Then there's the spotty capes. Firstly, the spotted cape, and that requires 40 hunter and reduces your weight by 2.2. And then there's the spottier cape, and that reduces it by 4.5 kilos. But this one requires 66 hunter. The boots of lightness and the penance gloves both reduce your weight by 4.5 kilograms. And lastly, the agility skill cape actually reduces your weight by four kilos. And that is the exact same as the graceful cape. And it does even act as a graceful cape. You can wear the agility skill cape with the rest of the graceful armor. That will give you a 30% run replenish increase. Now it's time for clip of the day, and today's clip of the day is from Capped King, who is currently ranked 17 in Old School RuneScape. He streams almost daily on Twitch, I think, and he's honestly like one of the nicest streamers and high ranks that I've ever spoken to in game. He's always really willing to have just a random chat with you about whatever the hell you want, and he always just gives his honest opinion on everything. You'll definitely know what I'm talking about if you watch his streams. Anyway, when he hit 200 million woodcutting XP, which is the max XP, he had a tree ready to chop down in the background of his stream. And then he even took it one step further than that. Enjoy. Cut! There you go. Yay! Yeah! 200 mil wood cutting in real life. Congrats on 200 mil wood cutting, dude. I think you're doing mining now, not to 200 mil. I think you're just getting like. I forget the number, but anyway, good luck with that. If you want to check out his Twitch channel and the clips, the links are in the description below. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. If you want to submit a clip of the day, the email and the details are in the description below. Leave a like if you learned something today. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.